On the morning of the 23rd of March 2001, 41-year-old Rosemary Moniz had her father go to her home to pick her up for a doctor's appointment, located at 3448 Acushnet Avenue in New Bedford, Massachusetts. He tried calling her, but she never answered his calls. When he arrived, there were signs of a struggle. He found the home in disarray with kitchen items strewn about and the contents of Rose's purse on the living room floor. He then entered the bathroom and made a horrifying discovery. He found his daughter's lifeless body lying on the bathroom floor in a pool of blood and the authorities were contacted. When first responders arrived, they determined that Rose had been bludgeoned to death with a fireplace poker, a cast iron kettle and a conch shell. Her purse was emptied out on the floor and an undetermined amount of cash was stolen. There was no signs of forced entry into the home, making them believe that the killer was someone that Rose knew. An autopsy determined that Rose suffered significant trauma to her head, including skull fractures, gaping lacerations and other injuries that resulted from bleeding from both ears. She had a broken nasal bones, a broken left cheekbone, and she also had multiple contusions from blunt force trauma all over her body. Evidence was collected at the crime scene. However, despite an extensive investigation, all the leads dried up and the case went cold. In 2019, cold case detectives revisited the case in hopes of solving it using the latest DNA technology available. Of particular interest to investigators was how the conch shell was used to kill Rose. Autopsy photos of Rose's face showed that she suffered numerous abrasions and contusions, which suggested that the spiny exterior of the conch shell hit her in the face. It was believed that the suspect would have needed to put the fingers inside the opening of the conch shell to hold it firmly, as it was needed to strike the victim with extreme force. The inside areas of the shell were tested for DNA and uploaded to the CODIS DNA database and a profile match was found, which led investigators to Rose's half-brother David Reed, who is now 53 years of age. The match was made against the sample that David provided in the conviction relating to a separate assault that occurred at the Oceanside Plaza parking lot at around 10.45pm on the night of the 10th of June 2003. In that attack, he allegedly beat a woman over the head with a tight iron and stole a purse. He then pushed her out of his pickup truck into a dark alley bleeding, before later ramming into a police car. He was released on bail to face trial and evaded the authorities for more than a decade, moving throughout the country before being jailed. On the 21st of January 2022, David was arraigned in the Fall River Court in Bristol County on charges of murder, robbery and assault. He's pleaded not guilty and faces the possibility of life in prison. David was a pallbearer at Rose's funeral and the alleged motive in the attacks was money. For years there was speculation that Rose's son Robert was somehow involved in her death. He said he finally feels vindicated 